guys, this is going to be my first attack in this war. Uh, and I'm going to attack this guy number 7. And uh, this is an industrial age base, uh, which is not too common for me. So I kind of used to attack uh, bases an age above me, or at least my age. And I'm currently global, and uh, actually I can say I'm, in terms of offense, I am pretty much global. So I have howitzers, I have my shooters in the global age, I have my mercs in the global age. And this guy, he has a very well upgraded, uh, but still industrial age base. So he has uh, almost everything maxed. But as far as I can see, the bunker are not filled. So it's kind of abandoned base, I would say. Uh, this is quite strange because uh, this alliance in general uh, looks pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> and this base, uh, what is interesting about this base is its layout. Uh, very unusual one. And uh, I would say pretty clever in general. Uh, with some some weak points, obviously, but in general, uh, it's an interesting idea. Uh, so the approach would be, obviously this is a Forbidden City layout, and uh, it has a, a lot of uh, those walls separating it in parts. So I will uh, even extend my approach of attacking from several sides, and I will actually uh, attack from all four sides here. So we have like uh, four areas here uh, uh, like the, the top, the bottom, the right and the left and I will attack uh, with part of my army from from each side. So I will deploy my my main troops here. This is uh, kind of obvious because uh, they are the troops who will not trigger uh, the castle, the general from the castle. And they will be able to easily destroy all of this even though there is the uh, reside. So <clears throat> here I will place my heavy mercs. And uh, as my heavy mercs will instantly go and approach uh, those defensive buildings, uh, I will also place one infantry guy here. Maybe even two couple of infantry guys here so that they destroy this uh, over finery and, and the other buildings. Uh, I will place my generals here so that they will destroy this part of the map. And I will use my donated troops and collusion troops here so that they hopefully uh, destroy this part and the town center as well. So I will do it exactly in the sequence I described. So first I'm going to deploy my, my main troops because they, they're not going to actually trigger anything dangerous. Then I'm going to de deploy my... No, actually, actually no, I have to deploy my generals first because they will not go uh, run toward the middle of the base. They will start destroying buildings uh, from the top. And then only I will deploy my my heavy mercs because they will instantly run to, towards those defensive buildings. Uh, then my couple of infantry guys and then my collision collision troops and donated troops because uh, they probably will go, uh, not probably, they definitely will go towards the town center and uh, can trigger uh, something to spawn from the town center. And uh, <clears throat> after that I will use my Blitzkrieg, and actually, I thought that the bunker uh, were a treat for me, but it uh, looks like they're empty, so I will use uh, the Blitzkrieg probably, probably anyway, uh, at the same place, which is like, like here, where these walls are crossing, because uh, I will then disable the bunkers, the garrisons, uh, to tank depots and the town center which is pretty good. And also there is a very good place uh, for, for placing my decoys. 
uh, it is right on top of this sniper tower so hopefully it will be outside of the range of those cannon towers but will dis distract all four of the mortars and even hopefully will not trigger the town center uh, but I hope to keep it locked until it's until it's done. So I will use the Blitzkrieg first and uh, then if necessary I'm gonna use the Seb on it as well. So that's the plan. Should not be should not be really difficult. <clears throat> but kinda kinda tricky layout and so uh, it's kinda tricky plan for this. Uh, but obviously in terms of firepower uh, I'm like really have advantage because I'm an edge buff and uh, I have triple offensive collision so I don't really expect any problems here so let's go let's do it starting with my main army I'm not gonna deploy my healing cards because uh, I'm not sure my main army are gonna be hurt anywhere soon so it makes no sense to to use my main army so now I'm waiting for them to oh no bunkers are actually functioning so I have to Zim in the town center. So everything's fine so far. Let's kill the tank. So destroy the town center pretty easy. some tanks. Let's help these guys with, with infantry and destroy the tower and let's speed up just a little bit. Okay, so it's done pretty fast. Uh, as I expected, no, no real problems. Uh, but it was kind of kind of well executed plan, uh, so just everything worked as I expected. My actually the most uh, kind of tricky part, which I was not sure of, uh, was that that right side. So I expected my uh, coalition troops and donated troops to destroy the town center, and they actually did. So that was a very good uh, because I was not sure about that. Actually, it was quite surprising that uh, the bunkers were, were actually filled because they really looked like they're not filled. Uh, uh, I don't know why. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching uh, what kind of easy attack. Hopefully, my second one will be more interesting. So, see you next time, guys. Bye.